die. In Tiodok's name, we must lead them to the try as you might. Struggle as you will, you are deluded. There is no winning for you, yes. But death as you define it means little to us. Soon, she will be born into this world. Adflo's voice has fallen silent in this land. The Tuatha are frightened and disorganized. They owe you much. Our eyes are opened and our blades unsheathed. We are now free to press forward. And I can take you to an old friend who knows the next step. Yes, we will take you to his filthy tower on the island of Danistar. I would like nothing more than to let him rot there. But there will be more danger on the path ahead. Take these blades. Prepare for whatever troubles you will face at his tower or beyond. Far to the southwest, there is a darkened tree by the Caled coast. Aelin Shear will be waiting there. She was most insistent to join in whatever business you have with the Collector of the Dead. We will meet again at the shadowed tree on the Caled coast. Traveler. The Tuatha are on the run. Good work. Plus, it's much more pleasant here without Gadflo bellowing at me from all corners. But enough pleasantry. Are you prepared for your reunion with Ventrinio? Just make sure he lives long enough to get us into Alabastra. Once that's done, it's none of my business. I believe our new friend has a disturbing path of living shadow to enter you. 
I hope you're ready for this. I believe our new friend has a dis- This island smells like death. Stay behind me. Whatever that gnome's been up to, he looks like he's made a few enemies in the process. This is your end. <laughs> Just as Hughes thought, then Trinio used the same wards from their old lab. This will be quick. Follow me and be careful. Most people think the lads are a children's tale. The Walking Dead? How ridiculous. Onwards and upwards, it seems. The energy from the Well of Souls is... ...overwhelming. Damn it! It's wrong! And why are there so many lads? Sounds like our rat is caught in a trap. I'm sure he'd be happy to help whoever saves him. Here's where we part ways. I'll stop the lads at the stairwell. You get upstairs and retrieve Ventrinio. I'll hold this staircase. Move!
Ever since the Baylor was defeated, the Chaos Magic sent the well off its alignment. You show up, and now the Laz are... Wait. What? It's you. You're alive. But I saw you die. Serious. This is my life's work. Don't you remember what we went through to build this? Why, you even got yourself killed in Alabaster for this. We had more than enough prisoner, but you wanted to track down the power source behind it all. Even if it meant sneaking right under Gadflow's nose. I spent days trying to recover your body, but I never expected to find you alive, or for you to return. Which so, how did you return? What? That's impossible. You were attuned at this way. Ha! Hughes is a joke. He doesn't have the stomach for this one. But the well is coming down around us. If you don't, the Lairs are here. Pull them off while I try to stop the flow of energy to the well. Salvin, all my work gone. Damn it all! But uh, <laughs> at least we're still alive. Once again, I triumph over death itself. Going back into Alabastra. Well, I still have a way in, but it's more dangerous now than the last time we went. I'll need more Prismere if I'm to rebuild the well. Perhaps this talisman can help you. It might just help against whatever killed you the first time. We got in with a little help, of course. See, it's all because of Callus Dren that in his house, no one can stand before him. None can even approach, unless you have my little secret. Patience, patience. I'm going to have to dig it out of the rubble of the tower. And if you value your life, do not approach Dren. Get... I'll keep an eye on the gnome. Don't go near Dread until I get there.
Through the hollows and green meadow, through the summer, winter, day and night, through the hallowed halls of seasons and song, through the vengeance, pride and sorrow, echo the footfalls of the greaves of the Fay Hunter. Private, listen. I've got some useful skills to trade if you're willing to keep my Bye! I'm not interested in battle. I want to join the travelers. See you! Could stop him. It was Dren. He's just one Fey, and not even a Tuatha. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. We thought so too. Damn it! I told them not to try anything until we arrived. This wouldn't be related to Aelin and her friend coming down that road, would it? If you were anyone else, I'd try to stop you. As it is, I'll just wish you good luck. This can't end here. <gasps> Sometimes a soldier can do what an entire army cannot. You haven't tried going in there, have you? This took a little longer to find than I had hoped, but it should be exactly what you need. Dren had a twin in the Summer Court, Dith the Defender of Valor. They were both entirely immune to each other's power. She faded when the House of Valor fell, but my early experiments with the Well of Souls provided a quite useful little surprise. You see, when trying to draw life energy from the ether, I captured her essence and bound it into this charm. With this, you will be immune to Dren's power. 
Now be fair. They don't have souls as mortals do. They are a form of magic with a physical form. And I only got a little of it anyway. It only works for one person, but it'll be enough for you to reach him. Trouble is, he'll be immune to your power as well. But I'm sure you can think of something. Now, go show that defender what a little magic. Sometimes one soldier can do what an entire army can. Turn back or die. Then you shall die like the others before you. I made an oath to protect my house and my homeland. No power short of death can keep me from fulfilling my duties. I know your intentions are to free my people from the Tuatha, but I have sworn an oath to defend my house and homeland. If only things could be different. I shall never yield. Other until the mountains wear away, but that will aid nothing. My sister and I were chosen to protect our kind. We never imagined that our houses could crumble beneath our feet. He may taint pride with his prismir and his obscene god, but it will keep us eternal. I cannot yield, but if your true intent is to stop Gadflow, then perhaps there is a way my house and my honor could remain pure. If you would promise to spare the House of Pride, then we could put aside our powers and have an honest battle. Win, and your army may pass. If this is the only way to secure a chance for my house's untainted survival, then so be it. If you should win, then destroy the Tuatha in my house and the hateful Witch Knight Myrna. beat him. Guess I owe Ventrinio a drink. A promise is a promise, and the Witch Knights of Pride would be powerful allies to have on our side. I'll send a few soldiers along to help. Meanwhile, I'll get the other troops ready to move into Alabastra once that gate opens. Get that gate open, and the army will be ready to go. 